back here for round number three. We've got another undefeated match here at our Pokemon League Cup here. First one for Regage, first one for 2025. Lots of championship points on the table. I'm Dennis Geisler. That is still Pikachu. Um, not very talkative today, apparently. <laughs> round number three, we're getting underway with Sam Frankel and Giovanni Costa. Geo, of course. 2023? I think it was in 2023. San Antonio Regional winner. Went to Worlds. Had a pretty nice showing there. And Sam Frankel at 2-0 as well today. See how uh, these two match up against each other in this new format in 2025. Obviously, Dio trying to get back to Worlds and such. Sam with the Tyranitar, Amoongus, Hisuian, Arcanine, Primarina, Golden Go, and Hydreigon. Geo with Dragonite, Garchomp, Amoongus, Incineroar, Whimsicott, and Golden Go. So, a couple of staples of this metagame that we haven't yet seen today. The Primarina with the Throat Spray, it has a liquid voice, so the Hyper Voices will become Water type with Moonblast, Haze, and Protect. On Geo's side, we'll potentially see a little bit more of that Whimsicott. Haven't really seen much of it so far today. Um, as well as the Amoongus on both sides, obviously still a fantastic Pokemon. Packing that Citrus Berry pretty consistently now. At least consistently with both of these two. Getting underway, game one around three. Both these players at 2-0. Oh. Win puts you in pretty good spot to move forward to the next round. Get pretty nice resistance built up. It's Golden Go Whimsicott on Geo's side, and it's going to be Golden Go Amoongus on Sam's side. Lots of Golden Go today. <laughs> it is Terra Steel uh, Choice Specs Golden Go on Geo's side, and it is Terra Dragon uh, Iron Plate. That's the same as the Metal Coat, but Iron Plate for Sam with the setup, Nasty Plot, and such. The only difference is actually the, the setup move. It's Nasty Plot on Sam's side, and it's Trick on uh, Geo's side. But the Terras are different, and that makes the overall matchup between the two pretty different. Amoongus is going to swap out here on Sam's side. Only one with the Amoongus out right now. And Arcanine comes in, that is the threat for the Golden Go, is that you are pretty weak to what you're weak to. Like, anything that Steel is weak to, you still have to be concerned about. You can't Terra out of those matchups. Speaking of Terra, you can see Sam's Terra onto the Golden Go. Or no, that's Geo's. Yeah, that is Geo's Terra onto the Golden Go. Excuse me. Gets the Terra Steel up, makes it no longer weak to Ghost, at the very least. Whimsicott with the Moonblast as well, aimed at the Golden Ghost, so nothing actually gets done. <laughs> nice Protect there by Sam to stall out the turn. Ooh, the Make It Rain actually comes down. We'll see how much this does to the Arcanine. Probably pretty good damage, <laughs> if I had to guess. Ooh, it's a one-hit knockout. Terra Steel Choice Pack, that does some real good damage. Neutral on the Arcanine, but that's going to knock it out, and... Hey, you might as well uh, use that Terra Steel if you're just going to absolutely obliterate the Arcanine on the switch end. Tough spot for Sam to be in now. It's tough to find where the damage is against Golden Go on the remainder of this team. We'll have to bring in the Prim Arena. It's neutral against that, but it does have the Throat Spray plus the Hyper Voice. It's a decent spot to just click Hyper Voice here. For Geo. Could get the Tailwind up with the Whimsicott. Could switch out the Golden Go to reset the special attack drop. We could not. We'll go for the Tailwind. No switches. Golden goes locked in, so it'll click Make It Rain once again. It's going to do pretty good damage against both these Pokemon here. We'll drop down to have special attack. Shadow Ball comes out into the Golden Go. Do a pretty decent chunk. Wouldn't actually have knocked out other uh, with the base typing. Hyper Voice does come through. Remember, that is a water type move. This is Liquid Voice. 
does not pick up the knockout onto the Golden Go. Does get the boosted... Um, does get that boosted special attack, but the problem here is Permarina pretty close to drop into another Make It Rain. Whimsicott will protect. And this Golden Go will go first. It is at half special attack, but that might still be enough. Certainly won't be if this Permarina protects out of it, though. And Gia's Golden Go going for the Make It Rain. Connects, it will, onto the other Golden Go and nothing else. Still shockingly good damage, <laughs> I will say. And the Make It Rain the other direction. That should clean up the Golden Go at the very least. Would have uh, probably brought Whimsicott down to Sash if Whimsicott... Or no, it would have probably taken down the Whimsicott if Whimsicott didn't protect, but it did. So it'll just knock out the Golden Go. Geo's Golden Go is still getting a ton of work done there. <laughs> and we'll see what Geo has in the back to ice this one. It's going to be the Garchomp, first of all. Since Terra Ground, Rough Skin still the ability, of course. Life Orb with Earthquake... Dragon Claw, Stomping Tantrum, and Protect. So it is able to click ground moves without hitting its ally. Or being blocked by Wide Guard, for that matter. It'll be pretty useful here. Primarina is going to switch out, going to lose the Throat Spray boost, unfortunately. Moongus comes back in here. Very quiet. Everybody's playing. Made me kind of nervous. Whimsicott gets that Moonblast off onto the Amoongus. It's going to be a critical hit. It doesn't do all that much damage. Archomp going for the Earthquake. Golden Go protected. So it'll just hit the Whimsicott and the Amoongus. It's going to be neutral on Amoongus. Not very effective on Whimsicott. We'll bring down Amoongus to Citrus Berry range where it goes nom 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 and picks that up. Question here, what can Sam do to try to get this Garchomp out of the way? It's still going to be pretty big damage that it's going to get down. Whimsicott's going to swap out on Geo's side. We'll see what the last Pokemon is. It is Dragonite. The Living Legend. Garchomp will go for a quick Protect. Golden Go went for the Double Protect, actually. Interesting call out there, I guess trying to get the Spore up. But not going to from the protecting Dragonite. Or excuse me, Garchomp. And that ends uh, Geo's Tailwind. The Pokemon still, should still be faster though. Dragonite especially if it decides to click Extreme Speed. issue for Sam here is how can you buy enough turns to get the damage down that you need to to win? You do have the Moon Blast on Primarina. Lots of Fairy-type damage against these two Dragon-types remaining. If you can get Primarina into the right spot with enough defense. Like, enough protection, I suppose. Defense is not the correct word, because that's a stat in the game. Stream Speed onto Amoongus. Not going to pick up the Knockout. Gets pretty close. The Earthquake should roll over both of these two. Indeed it does. Golden Go and Amoongus both drop. It's just the Primarina remaining now. And it doesn't get the Throat Spray boost anymore. Not that it would want to click it again, but... At pretty low HP, might just get dropped by the Extreme Speed by itself. The nice information for Geo to grab, so it might be worth Sam, yeah, just forfeiting and not showing off how much that Extreme Speed might do, because that could come in... Pretty important later on. But Geo will take game number one over Sam. Both these players trying to move to 3-0 and on the day. Very, <laughs> very competitive uh, tournament we have here. We have a lot of world's competitors. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but we have a, a pretty <laughs> pretty interesting world's competitor uh, visiting who will uh, who is at two and zero right now as well, and who might end up uh, <laughs> getting pretty far in this tournament, I'd imagine. Um, 
but this is a pretty high level battle as well. Just a ton of uh, really impressive players here today. It's going to be an extremely stacked top eight, that's for that's for sure. And Geo looking to lock things down and make that uh make himself a part of that uh top cut. As a reminder, we are off next week for Baltimore, and then we are back the next week on Saturday, whatever Saturday that is, the 21st, I'm going to say. I'm going to check. Getting into game number two, you know, as we do it. Oh, we're back on the 22nd, actually. The next two are on the 22nd and the 28th. I think. Now, now I'm getting conflicting opinions. In any case, uh, different leads this time. It's going to be Sam leading with the Titar and the Arcanine, Tyranitar, uh, and Golden Go and Cinnaror on Geo's side. This is an interesting lead because the Incineroar immediately really shutting down the Tyranitar and the Arcanine. It's going to be kind of difficult to get the work done that they want to. This Terra Grass Arcanine, if you're curious what the Terra that it would be able to click Terra Blast with is, probably won't do that, but you can always afford an extra slot if you're forced into four attacks, as you are with Choice Band most often. Tyranitar's Assault Fest. Terra Flying. Let it hit those fighting types if it's struggling with any. We're going to see the Terra turn one. It's going to be the Terra Steel Golden Go once again on Geo's side. This could knock out both of these Pokemon. They do both get the special uh, defense boost from the sand. Arcanine flinches. There's the Make It Rain. Let's see how much this does. This will do some real, real big damage. Does not knock out either. Both Pokemon take the hit, and Titar gets a knockoff, gets the specs out of there. That means that it's no longer locked in to make it rain. And both of these Pokemon do take the hit, and that is pretty important. <laughs> Sam does now have the ability to knock out at least one, if not both of these Pokemon this turn. Yeah, unlikely to knock out both these Pokemon, but could either fish for Rock Slide flinches or could just go for big damage. He is going to take the Incineroar right out of there. Garchomp will come in. Ooh, that could be big, because any contact move that hits Garchomp will actually uh, knock out and return. And the Golden Goal will protect, so this could be important. If either of these two... Ooh, it's Extreme Speed into the Garchomp. Great call out from Geo, and that's going to knock out the uh, the uh, Arcanine back the other way with the Rough Skin. Will it happen to Titar as well? It does! <laughs> An incredible read from Geo, switching in the Rough Skin Garchomp, getting two knockouts in one turn on the low HP threats. And suddenly, Geo is looking perfectly fine to clean up this game. Four Pokemon to two, just the Golden Go and the Hydreigon left for Sam. Real clean little play there. This Hydreigon is Life Orb, Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Tailwind, Protect. This Golden Go is set up as we spoke about before, you remember. But now a tough spot to be in. You have to pick whether to Terra your Golden Go or not. If you don't Terra it, it gets hit by Garchomp's ground moves. And if you do Terra it, it gets hit by Garchomp's dragon moves. Let's see Incineroar come back in here. It's not going to accomplish anything with the Intimidate against two special attackers. But it has Fake Out Pressure next turn against the Hydreigon, which does now Terra. It is a Terra Fire. And it's immune to ground, as you know, by its Levitate ability. 
Golden Gull will protect. See what High Dragon decides to go for this turn. Doesn't necessarily want to go for Draco Meteor because that would leave it pretty weak for the rest of this battle. So it goes for Dark Pulse into Incineroar. Does nothing. This Assault Vest Incineroar specifically. Geo really likes that Assault Vest. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really do much of anything. It's the fake out now this turn into the High Dragon. Stomping Tantrum now goes into the Golden Go. Free attack and that's a one hit knockout. Ring the bell for that one. And it's looking pretty close to Geo wrapping up this 2-0 win. Absolutely dominant game number two after that crazy rough skin play. <laughs> really, really fun play. And Sam's going to quit out of that one. Giovanni Costa with the clean 2-0 victory to move on to 3-0. Clearly liking, uh, liking uh, <laughs> Reg 8 early on. Sam moves to 2-1. and one. Still a lot of opportunities left in this tournament. Hello. Um... And yeah, that was a very quick 2-0 victory. Uh, we are going to take a quick break. We'll be back for the second half of Swiss round number four coming up. Don't go anywhere.